Hello there. Um, my name is Dr. Saad, and our project is to monitoring better food delivery motorbike drivers' behavior. And we're going to use the computational and statistical analysis method in real time driving data to reduce accidents. Team members are Dr. Muhammad Enamul Haq Choudhury from Qatar University and the students of Qatar University, Hassan, Muhammad, and SM Khaled. Our problem statements goes back to the problem we challenge uh, we face on this one. So two uh, third-party logistic companies, Qatar, uh, who are supplying with uh, Talaba, they're asking us to we can give us give them a solution to monitor their drivers. So there are almost twenty thousand food delivery riders already in Qatar, and the estimated total pay for the riders is three thousand riyals per month, and it's related to number of deliveries completed per day. So that's why you can see how they are rushing to deliver their goods. So due to the increase in number of accidents in Qatar by the delivery guys. We're coming up with a machine learning solution, which will mitigate this issue. Our model will analyze the rider behavior through monitoring average speed, cornering angle, sudden lynching, and even we will try to check on their usage of the indicator. This model can provide the performance of the rider to the owner of the motorbike in details, which may eventually reduce the number of accidents. Solution we are coming up with in uh, two phases. In the first phase, we will develop an app that will be installed on the delivery rider's phone. And this app will send data to a server where AI machine learning based system will analyze and generate report for a specific driver's average speed and cornering angle. Owners will be notified automatically if the rider is driving aggressively. So in the second phase, we are trying to develop a hardware device, which will be installed in the rider's bike. And this customized device will provide specific drivers every speed, corner angle, even though the, they're easy using the indicator, properly or not. So this app will work in a way that the driver, both driver and the owner can see the scores, the ratings, uh, in terms of their behavior of driving, how fast they are driving and how, those are working on. And if you see the market size in USD billion dollars, uh, in 2017, it was 56.1 billion USD. And by 2027, its prediction is it will reach to 266 billion. So uh, you can see easily like how fast this growing. The market is big and we are expecting to have a huge market for to sell this one. So in our business model, we have the key partners, already two key partners, uh, which are our friends. They have already uh, agreed to provide us 10 bikes to that we can use our uh, apps to in, and also the device uh, to check the collect data and brush up our system. Once the prototype is finalized, we may provide the service to other competitors. Our key activities are our model will analyze the rider behavior through monitoring the speed and other stuff. And this model can provide the performance of the rider to the owner and the bike rider as well. Key resources. We don't require much capital for the first model since we need to develop the app only. And we have people to develop uh, our app among, our, among us. Uh, but the, for the second model, we need to develop a hardware and we may need almost here are 5,000 reals. We need to hire a few people for distribution channels and revenue streams to function. And additionally, few people are needed to maintain customer relationship as well. Customer segments, first of all, our target is to provide the service to the fleet partners of the food delivery partner platforms. Once we are successfully able to provide our service and make good reputation, then we will approach Talabat and others. Later, our plan is to extend it to global market. These are the reference I have used to uh, find the information about how many riders and uh, motorbikes are over here in Qatar. That's all for you guys. Thank you.